Sean Nichols, also known as Putz12, is easily the fattest Splatoon player despite the rising number of childhood obesity cases in America, and Putz isn't even a child. Although he certainly acts like one. He ran away again! He ran away again! Dude! Hello and welcome back to whatever the hell this is considered. Today we're going to discuss Fat Low Tier God and his low-key eating disorder. Or maybe it's not a disorder. I don't know, I'll let the FDA and Sean's future ECG scans determine that. Sean Nichols started his YouTube career back in 2018 to share his health journey and show off his incredibly lean and jacked physique. Until Nick Akato Avocado placed a curse on putts to transfer all of his fat and years of mukbangs onto Sean. I'm kidding, but how funny would that be? To no one's surprise, putts' story begins with eating contests, the race to heart disease, and sudden death. Dear God, I feel for the poor son of a bitch who has to load his fat into a coffin. So after years of rigorous training and guarding the bridges of Liernia, Sean would set his sights on more challenging endeavors, such as children's games. Have you ever put on a colorful kids game and wondered why all the children playing it were so much better than you? Sean has. But more than that, he skipped past the philosophical thought and introspective, because those arteries are way too clogged and unpredictable for rational thinking. So rather, Putz resorts to throwing toddler tantrums in order to convey his frustrations. It's clear he's very adept at blending into his environments. Wouldn't want the other players to catch on to his age. But we're jumping ahead. Sean started out as a competitive eater. He even appeared on an episode of Man vs. Food where he discussed, well, you guessed it, food. He appeared once more on an ARAC video titled, I Brought 50 Competitive Eaters to a Buffet. So it seems even before his time on YouTube, he was a pretty massive celebrity. Not hyperbole, he's pretty hard to miss. Let's set the scene. The year is 2015. James Corden is driving the Rewind bus. Sean has put another buffet out of business. And Nintendo is releasing a new IP called Splatoon. A wacky third-person shooter with a fun lineup of characters, a colorful dynamic, and suitable for the mini lads audience. Or at least I'm assuming. I don't know anything about the game and I couldn't be bothered to look it up. Now, Sean isn't just any fat American. Actually, I think he might be. He looks like every Walmart shopper I've ever seen. Anyways, he's a child at heart and in the brain. But the point is, the colorful characters have appealed to the soft spot in his head, and he's dedicated to learn the functions as well as the objectives and master this game at any cost. Somewhere between 2018 and 2019, he would enter Smash and Splat, a Splatoon dedicated tournament, the first of which without incident. But it seems he could only hold his composure together for so long, as during the only other tournament he would enter, but not due to health reasons, don't worry I'm not going to make any fat jokes, but because he couldn't keep his mouth shut, even without food being presented to him. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. At some point during the tournament, Sean was presented with a pickup team with one missing member. The member being substituted with someone's child. After losing the match, because they had Sean on their team, Sean would proceed to take his frustrations out on the rest of the team, quickly realizing the majority of them were full-grown adults that could hurt him, and being the coward he was, he went straight for the child, proceeding to tell her what a wonderful player she was and what a pleasure it was to play with. I'm kidding. He berated her and called her dead weight. Interesting choice of words coming from you, Sean. After which, he would nearly break the event-provided equipment and make her cry before being removed from the tournament, but for some reason allowed to stay as a spectator. And speaking of spectators, if you're enjoying this inconsistent timeline and narrative about a human meatball with a toddler brain, maybe consider giving the video a like, sharing it with someone who has an eating disorder and low self-esteem, and maybe click that subscribe button to get me closer to that goal of 5,000 subs before the year is out. And don't forget to comment and let me know what kind of salad is Sean's favorite. During and after this event, he would continue to stream gameplay of Splatoon to his YouTube channel as he's been kicked off of Twitch for exceeding the live camera parameters. Most of his streams include incoherent man-baby babble, <laughs> followed by incidents such as this. You do that f direction! Five feet from your face! Move! This has been determined as no signaling or no siggy by the fans that I assume hate watching because pathetic man babies all make us feel better about ourselves. This is sometimes caused by Sean's ass cheeks clapping together in rapid motion, but typically it's out of aggression and slamming his fists down on his table so hard that it disconnects signal from his Nintendo. Stop, dude! 
Dude! Are we sure that isn't just the sound of him tiptoeing around? As you've seen previously, Sean loves to blame his teammates for losses or poor performing games, strictly because blaming himself would be too obvious and make too much sense. In fact, based on others' reactions towards his time on Splatoon, it seems he is so bad at the game that his mere existence in the match alone is the sole reason for the team's loss, and the only way for Sean to truly help the team is to never play again which he just can't do. Putz12 is an infamous name among the Splatoon community, known primarily for the memes created by his viewers, including his outbursts, no signaling, and team blaming as you've seen previously. He's also well known for blocking other players he blames for his losses, going as far to unironically discover that Nintendo actually has a block limit and having to unblock old players just so that he can block new ones like some weird form of stimming for overweight men that struggle to breathe or move their arms. This would lead to one of the funniest customer service calls to Nintendo where Sean would unload five years of his own incompetence and move milk onto some poor defenseless Nintendo. Nintendo service rep in hopes of increasing his block list size. Only for the Nintendo employee to disconnect the call later due to Sean's viewers subscribe spamming to activate Sean's audio clip and get him kicked off the call. <laughs> Serious? It's been nearly a decade since the release of Splatoon, and in that time, it seems the one thing Sean couldn't manage to do is actually just get better at the game. Putz has also dipped his toes into other gaming ventures, such as various playthroughs of Salmon Run and Triple Bypass Simulator, and he's tried his hand at speedrunning, mainly diabetes, but also Legend of Zelda. Even today, you'll find Sean streaming on YouTube, more than likely Splatoon, and during the holidays, hosting what he refers to as Putzmas, where he rolls his fat ass in the frame and makes people look at him for a period of time while he bitches about a game for children and contributes nothing of value beyond entertainment for people who I can only assume hate themselves. In conclusion, Putz is a whiny little crybaby, not unlike DSP or low tier twat, and although I'm not sure how he can get his arms close enough together to clap his hands, let alone hold a controller, we can rest assured knowing that the only real person he's hurting is the person that has to wipe his ass for him. Thank you all so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I know that they seem a bit short, but I'm still growing and if I want to make regular uploads, I have to keep them to a relatively small size. If you're still considering it, please feel free to click the like button, share the video with a friend, and subscribe for more content. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, I do love hearing from you all. A big shout out to my patrons, Jessica, Pulped Milk, George, and Jesse. Thank you to my editor and channel artists, links will be in the description as always, but until next time, be well.